my name is Professor Gloria Laycock. I'm director of UCL's Jill Dando Institute of Security and Crime Science. And the institute was set up in 2001, shortly after Jill Dando's murder, as the very first institute of crime science in the world. And people say, what's crime science? They know what criminology is, and we're not that. Um, what we're trying to do here really is involve science and scientists far more directly in helping to control crime. And that's not just about technology and target hardening and building CCTV cameras and tagging things. It's really about trying to get the police and all our students particularly to think like scientists think. And what we say is that the reason science is so good, if you like, the reason we know so much about some sciences like physics and chemistry and so on is because those scientists test hypotheses. They experiment and that's how they build knowledge and that's what we think we should be doing far more of in relation to crime control. So what we're doing here at the Giordano Institute is spanning the whole of UCL and dipping into departments all over the college that are doing security related things and we pull them out of their little cubby holes in all over UCL and talk to them about what they're doing work with them to bid for new research grants and importantly involve them in the teaching of our students. So going back to crime science, um, it's very outcome focused. It's really about making crime go down. That's really all we care about, fewer victims. And that means either preventing crimes from happening in the first place or catching people quicker. Detection, in other words, improving detection because it's, it's really very low at the moment. And that takes us a lot into working with the police, working with data from the police and the security services, the Serious Organised Crime Agency. So we do a lot of mapping, for example. We get data, we map it, and what the police always want to know is where's the next offence going to happen. And some of our staff here, Shane Johnson, Kate Bowers, have been working over the last few years to develop what they call ProMap, which is a predictive mapping tool. They're trying to predict when the next burglary is going to happen. And by using some of the techniques of epidemiologists, the statistics epidemiologists use, they're arguing that crime is a bit like a little infection. It, it kind of goes in little spates around the place. You get a spate of burglaries here and then another one here. And they're now showing that they can predict the next burglary about 80% of the time, but within a very tiny window, two or three, three days maybe. And the people who are being burgled are either the same people who were just burgled or their immediate neighbours. So the burglars are sort of hitting an area, gobbling up all the good bits and then moving before somebody arrests them. And an analogy is with foraging, the way animals forage on them. In Africa, for example, they find a nice bit of grass, they gobble it up and they move before someone gobbles them up. It's only an analogy, but it's a good one because it means we can explain it to the police, we can explain it to communities, and we can help them to take what are really quite complex statistics and very, some quite challenging ideas from the very latest science, but apply it and translate it so they can use it in, in their everyday work, really, to help drive crime down. We're very interested in the application of our science knowledge transfer, getting out there, talking to people and translating what we do, which can be quite complicated, into something they can use.